Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you on Tuesday, 22 November. Sort of a slow grind here. Uh, we got one move yesterday. Who sold? Uh, who sold Dollar Cat up at 135? The figure. Or who sold uh, Euro Norway at 10.55? Both of those trades paid yesterday. Um, I still, I think you can still be short dollar cad. Uh, we have, we have about 20% of the original position on. Obviously, at a pretty tidy average, uh, we're going to sit short, see how it goes. Uh, the reason we're going to sit short is this chart here. Um, bang. Bullshit rumors about Saudi increasing supply. Um, you know, the Saudis are going to do whatever they want to do. I don't pretend to know, understand or know or what goes on over there. Um, but the rumors, the original rumors, took um, took crude down to seventy five and a quarter, and then the retraction in the rumors five bucks back up to eighty. Uh, this was the reason dollar cad and euro Norway ticked off at the highs um, and so here we are back at 80 and that is um, you know not only was that close to a four standard deviation move uh, down to 75 and a quarter uh, that bar that candlestick in particular if you believe in candlesticks um, which we do, or it's not that we believe in them, we kind of understand them after watching them for 30 years. Um, that's quite a bullish candlestick, right? So you, you mean technically you want to see prices above 80.50 today at some point, which seems pretty pretty likely, uh, unless there's news. It's pretty pretty bullish. So we think dollar CAD uh, can go lower here. What's the what's the full equation right what's the big dollar doing in general euro's not doing anything at 102.50 uh what are rates doing yeah still on the low side 382 i mean it'd be nice if this was down at 375 but we're still very much on the low side of the rates uh balance so we like dollar cad uh, a little bit lower here but anyway we'll go through uh everything one by one um we got Lowe speaking in uh, one hour and 12 minutes. What's he going to say? I mean, what are all of these central bankers saying? They're basically saying, we're here to fight inflation. We will raise rates if we have to. Uh, the, the fight isn't finished yet. But it's all bravado and bullshit. It really feels like at this point, I think every, every one of these central bankers is afraid to be the banker that puts his country or her country into a recession. They don't want to be the bad guy. They don't have the balls or the testes or the tits. or How do you say if a chick has balls without being uh, misogynistic? Anyway, um, who knows? Who cares? Um, they don't want to be the policymaker that puts their country into recession. Uh, and then there are other consequences in the U.S. with rates above 4%. Um, that have to be dealt with or thought about. So I think uh, rates are going to inch a little bit higher, but we're kind of at the at the turn point here. So maybe one or two more hikes, uh, smaller increments, and then we have to just see how the economy how the economy does so if the economy goes gangbusters which seems incredibly unlikely considering all the layoffs that we're seeing um by the way the twitter layoffs just i just i am sorry it's not that i love it i hate it when people lose work um but after like playing around in the tech industry for the last 18 months these businesses are so overstaffed it is insane uh, I could go on I could write a book about like the pretend to work and do nothing attitude uh, in the development world when I say the development world I mean the developers world the IT guys the coders and then the business guys who run the coders and then the product guys who are who blame the business guys who blame the coders um, 
the fact that he may have cut the Twitter staff by 80 percent is is astounding uh, and that I'm going to post this video on Twitter and there's been no disruption in service that I can see uh, it's it's um, I'm not surprised um, I'm happy but sad I'm sad for the people uh, who lost their jobs um, but I'm happy to see someone who has the balls to be like shit my business is losing five million dollars a day I gotta do something sorry Jack Dorsey um, go take some more mushrooms and do whatever you do uh, anyway that's a rant that is now finished let's go back to uh, FX here uh, perhaps too much coffee very early this morning after fitness um, euro dollar again not doing too much you know we obviously see support down here at 101 um, we're a long way from that middle of the range we talk about this over and over and again do not play in the middle of the ranges um, Eurocad we got paid on this last week but we're not in it anymore uh, it's not doing anything cable this is uh, this is something we drew this morning it's a little bit of a pattern if you believe again in these patterns um, little head and shoulders here trend line here um, the neckline on 1780 60 points away this could happen you know this is sterling this is cable you know we're talking about you know average true ranges 100 pips no problem these days so um, just keep an eye on this I don't think it's wildly tradable uh, but downside sterling is always kind of interesting uh, just based on how completely fucked um, they are from a leadership standpoint and from an economic standpoint um, I don't know if you guys follow the news about you now they're screwing with Shell uh, now Shell is going to screw back um, just not a great environment for in order to thrive economically right now in the UK um, not to mention it's dark as shit and rainy November, December, January easily the worst time in the world to live in London those of you who have lived there and do live there know this um, grim, grim time it's, it's even grim in, in, in Geneva imagine how grim it is in London um, at least we're going to get some snow um, anyway, check that out in Sterling Dollar Yen went up to 142.30. Uh, we missed this move. I mean, we probably we should have been paying more attention at 140.76. Uh, um, I don't know why I missed that, but we did. Uh, but now we're not going to chase this. Uh, not much to do here. 140.50 is this, I bet. Yeah, one, I'm sorry, that's 143.50. Oh yeah, this guy here is 142.50. This high from uh, the 11th of November is 142.50. You may see a little double top trade up there, but we're not trading dollar yen right now. Dollar Swiss is just mean reverting here. Got a little bit eccentric, a little bit hysterical down at 93.50. 95.70 is back in the middle of the range. Uh, if you think big, big, big picture, dollar Swiss is 90 cents is the big picture low. One double O is big picture high. Normally we fuck around a little bit above that, and we haven't really got below 90 cents, I don't think, um, in a while. What was low down here? 89. Ooh, look at that. That was 87 cents. Man. Um... When I came to Switzerland 22 years ago, it was 184 dollar Swiss. Um, anyway, middle of the range, nothing to do here as well. Kiwi, this will be interesting a little bit. We have rates in in um, New Zealand this week, but we also have low speaking in one hour and five minutes. If you have a Kiwi position, you got to kind of watch what Aussie does, see how that um, affects things. There's some mysterious highs in Aussie Yen. I don't really know why, but 
9409, we have one, two, three, four, five, sort of six little highs there. Obviously, there might be an order there or something. Could be some pressure building uh, if we head back up that way. Is this going to be Aussie driven? Is this going to be dollar yen driven? Um, those of you who are listening know that I've said three times now that uh, RBA low is speaking in one hour and four minutes. If you like yen weakness and he says something hawkish uh, in dollar yen, uh, this might be an interesting place to put that trade on 94.10. We are not trading that. Uh, Euro sterling not doing much, just annoying. Um, we spent a lot of time and energy trying to get short at 86.90. We are not short uh, today. Euro yen not doing much. Sterling yen on the on the highs here. Some weird sterling strength. Our pals from uh, down south, South Africa. Hmm. Not doing too much. I mean, we're moderately risk on today, but you can see this is just sort of bouncing around at the bottoms here. This could go either way. If we get risk on again and S and P's go to four thousand, this could head lower. Uh, what's probably more likely is um, we get some risk off and this heads back towards the high. How long is it going to take uh, for dollar and to trade 20? Anyone want to take a bet whether dollar yen trade dollar yen trades 20 in 2023? Pretty sure it does. Um, it's just the way the way of emerging market currencies. Euro Aussie, not much. Swiss yen, nobody cares. Cat Swiss dead as a doornail. Euro Norway. Um, yeah, we said it yesterday, ten fifty-five. Uh, I think what was the actual high? Ten fifty-five oh seven. We did not trade this, uh, but just playing Harry hindsight armchair quarterback patting myself on the back for no reason because if you don't trade it you don't make any money it's it's and you were correct in your view it's, you're basically a muppet so put me in the muppet category for that although we did sell a uh, dollar cad up at 134.90 so it was okay uh the rest of this cad yen kind of reminds me of this Aussie yen these things look like they want to just start heading north Aussie yen CAD yen Kiwi yen less the charts less compelling um, dollar max I mean the Mexican soccer team is a mess right now if you follow that shit um, so maybe sell max dollar turkey we don't even bother anymore we talked about 1730 in gold Never really got there. 33 was a low. <coughs> uh, no horse in this uh, in this race, in the gold race. But this looks likely to turn higher, um, especially if rates continue in the low end. Crypto, uh, just a continual ball kick. Um, and... I guess for those of you in America, this is now getting interesting. Um, Coinbase down at forty bucks now. I mean, so many of my friends own this shit at three hundred. Um, like a lot of crypto investments, down ninety percent. I think Coinbase is going to survive, and you know. If you're a value investor or you have some shekels from your foreign exchange trading that you want to put into assets, the feather down on Coinbase or the dollar cost averaging below, say, 45 bucks, however you want to do it, right? You could buy 40s, you could buy 32s, 22s, 12s. Hopefully, you never get given the 12s. Uh, but I don't think Coinbase is going away. Um, I do think crypto will come back eventually. This might be um, an interesting way if you're terrified of Ethereum, which is sort of, I think, the gold standard in crypto, and you're a stock guy, Coinbase, uh, at 40. It's an astounding price, but I think this is uh, getting cheap. 
Gee, I think I think this video is too long. I'm stopping now. Um, good luck. We're going to remain short dollar CAD. We don't really have a ton else out there. Um, there is Canadian retail sales today, so keep in mind with that. <clears throat> that Aussie yen chart is interesting. The cable chart is far away, but interesting. Um, but overall, it looks looks pretty quiet uh, for the European session. If I get any epiphanies, I'll uh, write something on on Twitter for you guys. Anyway, good luck today. Make some dough. Talk to you tomorrow.